Hi, good morning. Um, so I am the Communities and Schools Liaison at Woodrow Wilson High School. And um, I actually call myself the student success mentor. It's my job to help students succeed uh, and whatever that takes, I try to do. Um, some of the kids here have called me their school mom. So I guess I do momish things. Um, I have kids, so I'm very comfortable with that. Um, Woodrow Wilson uh, became a CIS school last year. That was the first year. So it was, the job was new here and I was new here and um, there was a steep learning curve, but this year, um, well, again, there's kind of a steep learning curve because this is the COVID year, but um, it's definitely more comfortable this year. I kind of know what my job is more. Um, so I'm going to start with telling you um, a quote from Bill Milliken. He's the founder of Communities and Schools. And he said that programs don't change kids, relationships do. So Communities and Schools was built on the premise that developmental relationships are at the core of what we do. Um, and the mission for Communities and Schools uh, is to surround students with a community of support, uh, empowering them to stay in school and achieve in life. So I try to keep that at the forefront of my mind and what I do. Um, I do have a bulletin board space. So there's a slide here uh, with a bulletin board picture. Um, I kind of had to scan it. So it's you know a little bit warped, but you can see um, if you'll go to the first slide uh, picture. Um, so I try to tell the kids, um, you know, kind of what it is that I do so that they know where to go. So, you know, how can I help you succeed? How can I help you succeed, you know, with living, I, you know, do food and provide, you know, uh, re money resources for um, heating and I don't know, stuff like that. I provide rides for kids that need it. Uh, I do tutoring. I help them organize um, their schedule so they can catch up on their academics that they're falling behind. I help them learn how to communicate with teachers that helps them academically um, and then socially and emotionally. Um, so I also this year because of COVID um, have made a QR code. So, yep. And a teacher actually said, you know, probably the most discreet um, but visual place. I don't know if you can have something that is both visual and discreet, but a uh, place to place these would be in the stalls in the bathrooms. So every bathroom stall has one of these. <laughs> and um, it takes them to kind of like a little survey that they can fill out and tell me what it is they need. Um, and then I can call them or make an appointment with them and we can discuss it. Um, so one of the things we had last year, we at Woodrow um, had seven pregnant girls here last year, seven pregnant students. Um, so one of the things I did last year when I noticed that we had so many was um, I made a support group. We can't do that physically this year because we're not allowed to meet in groups like that. But last year we met every two to three weeks and uh, I would have some healthy refreshments. And each week um, we would talk about, you know, changes um, that the girls were going through. But then I also had some um, primary focus. So, you know, like the first one was caring for yourself as you're pregnant um, and then caring for your baby. And we had one day where we talked about making memories. They were gonna have their own families. So we shared memories that we might want to incorporate in our own families. Um, one time it was on how to give your baby the most advantages. So, you know, I explained to them how to read to a baby, how to talk to a baby and interact with the baby. Um, you know, just some general parenting things um, that work well for little, little bitties. Um, and then of course, our main emphasis was, you know, the importance of finishing school and getting some kind of training. Um, I had one that is uh, started last year at the end of the year working uh, training as a dental hygienist and she's finishing that training this year. Um, another one is this year uh, she graduated and this year she's working with a West Virginia Invest grant to get some training. Um, and then that brings us to a student that I'm still working with. She's actually a fifth year senior and this is Soraya. And this is her little guy, Caden. So she had Caden last November and um, Soraya and I, she's doing virtual school this semester because she wanted to stay home with Caden um, so she can be with him every single day now uh, and she, she's working. But um, so she and I meet every Monday from 4.30 until eight uh, to go over some of her virtual school, which virtual schooling is, um, pretty intense. I have a lot of kids that are virtual this year that need help. Um, but anyway, so Soraya and I meet regularly um, to go over her schooling and to keep her on track. Uh, Soraya doesn't have transportation, so we actually spend a lot of time together during quarantine. Um, 
she'd call me sometimes, hey, I need to go shopping. I need to get some milk for Caden or we need some diapers. Uh, on really stormy days, she called a few times and said, hey, would you mind giving me a ride to work? Um, and then when I was gone on vacation this summer, it was really cute. A few times it, she called me and she was like, hey, girl, haven't heard from you. Um, you know, let me know how you are. Or she'd call and say, what are you doing? How come I haven't heard from you this week? And you know, I'd say, well, I'm out of town. She'd say, well, you know what, girl, you can call me or come by and visit me. You don't have to have a reason. You can just do it because. And I said, well, all right, I absolutely will. So um, I think she and I have a, a real um, relationship. You can go to the next slide if you want. Um, so, oh, this is this is Caden. He's <laughs> He and I love each other. He actually learned to walk about a month ago. And when I came to the door to her house, he just ran with arms uplifted to the door um, when he saw me. It's really sweet. Um, so uh, I guess my favorite thing about the job is that I have relationships with these kids that are beyond just a teacher student relationship. It's um, anyway, it, it's sweet. I love it. Um, and I wanted to share one other thing, because I know this is social emotional learning week. Um, I had a student come to me last year. I've had a lot of students who are either abandoned by their parents, they've lost their parents, you know, they've passed away due to a variety of reasons. But one of them came to me last year and she just was crying. And, and I said, you know what, I, I don't know what would help you. Tell me, what could I do that would help you? And she said, I need someone to tell me every day that I'm going to make it. Her mom had abandoned her and she was without a mom and she actually was living with a grandma, but it happened kind of unexpectedly. And she said, please text me every day, text me, you are going to make it, you will make it through this. And, and I did. And after a few months, she came by my room and said, I'm okay now, you don't have to text me, but I still need you to talk to me and I still need to see you regularly, but you don't have to text me every day. And um, she's only here on Wednesdays and Thursdays now. But every Wednesday and Thursday, I see her because she comes by for her 30 minute lunch and we have lunch together. Anyway, um, if you have questions, you're certainly welcome to uh, let me know. Just wanted you to know, most rewarding job, other than parenting my own, uh, most rewarding job I've ever had. So I'm very thankful. Thank you. <laughs>